and gamers here got another special video for you today a nice little short one here covering the horses we're gonna give you a brief rundown of kind of what you do with them how much they cost talk about how to take care of them and just maybe share a few other features that I've been noticing while working with the horses in farming sim 19 but before we get started though I'd like to remind you to go down and hit that subscribe button and make sure you check on the notifications so you know exactly when we go live also give us a like on this video it helps us out a lot so the horses in farm sim 19 they are our new animal and they are a lot of fun I've been really enjoying these and it's been a really good time actually uh, taking care of them and trying to uh, make them worth more money so that's what we're gonna do with the horses in farming sim 19 they cost five thousand dollars when you buy them they almost right away go to about half that price two thousand five hundred and I'm not sure how much they can be worth maybe they'll be worth ten thousand uh, once we get them leveled up, but at this point I haven't been able to get a horse up that high So uh, what you do with them here is you can jump on them just by simply walking up and uh, Hitting the E button and just climbing on them just like you would a tractor They have different modes of walking which is really nice because all you got to do is press your W key One time and you'll get a trot if you tap it one more they'll canter another time gallop and one more time and you'll get a nice canter or sprint out of them as well so they are pretty easy to run around with and they don't require really a lot of care but they do require you to do some things if you want to get that value up now I've had some people tell me that I had to take my horse over to this part of the map which is like a little a little race course or whatever you want to call it. My mom is a big horse person. She'd probably facepalm at uh, my lack of knowledge with the uh, horse terminology, so do forgive me. But uh, you've got this little place, and you can run and jump. Uh, you've got the jump if you hit your space bar. They are kind of hard when they're running really fast to be able to turn. And they were kind of stuck. The horses seem to climb and jump over about anything. We'll jump over that right there. I haven't seen an actual purpose for this place other than a decoration. So there's some rumor going around that this is where you have to go to train them. I I'm just not seeing that. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong on that. So if you go over to your animal tab and you click on the very bottom down here, we are riding on Inky. There's Inky right there. And you'll actually see Inky's cleanliness going down the more Inky runs along. You'll also see the overall health, which is at 99%, which is pretty good. And you'll see here the speed of the horse. So I guess they'll start running a lot faster, which would be kind of nice. But I guess that's got to do with the speed. And all my horses, they are sitting at that uh, still 5%. So I haven't had any luck with that. It might change by the day. Uh, looks like Inky's about to go into a tractor here. Oh, no. <laughs> Just jump over it. <laughs> We've got helpers working. We're running a lot of tests out here. Uh, that specific test is testing the wear and tear on the machines. And uh, we've got a, the smallest tractor doing the plowing in the biggest field. So that's what's going on there. This whole map is a huge test map that we've been testing lots of things. So don't mind the amount of money that we have either. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of what you get on the rundown with the horses. And the food you're going to give them is uh, not wheat and barley. You're going to give them oats and hay, water, and straw. That's what they're going to take. And we can see here when we run Inky along. Uh, yeah, we're going down. Where's Inky? There we go. 52%. So the horse is getting a little bit more dirty as we jog back over to the horse place. And I'll even entertain you here. We'll run the horse into a sign. I probably didn't feel too good. I didn't mean to do that. We'll jump the horse off of a cliff. <laughs> And the horses walk on water, I guess, but uh, they pretty well seem to climb and run and jump and let's see what happens out here. Yeah, just running across the water, no big deal. Um, and some people are saying, I can't believe the horse doesn't die in Red Dead Redemption. They Just remember folks, that's a rated M game, I think, and this is not, this is rated E, so if they had the horses taking uh, damage and dying, it would change the whole ESRB rating, and I don't think that'd be worth it. So this is a happy, fun game of farming. There's going to be no carnage. If you take your horse out to the train track, the train comes. It'll just move your horse aside. But uh, we're running back to where we've got all of our horses here. And Inky just blended right in, didn't, didn't he or she? 
Is this inky? Okay, cleaning inky is going to be just click on with the mouse. You can see a little bit of dirt on inky. I already went around and rode our white horse, which is over here. This horse is at 100% as far as being dirty here. I don't even remember this horse's name. Uh, yeah, this one right here. And it's she's 100% dirty. So you'll see the difference on the white horse, basically. And it seems like when you're on the horse, it kind of seems like they look a little more dirty. So there's all the dirt. And... Go ahead and clean the horse, clean and brush. Oh, got to do it again. Okay, we just hold it down a little bit. Horse is clean. It sounds like we just spray painted our horse. Maybe that's what we did. We spray painted the horse. But the horse is now clean. And uh, it, looking like uh, Jasmine there is in great shape. So as far as food uh, and, and that sort of thing goes, you've got the hay. So you're going you're gonna to bring them hay. All right, which is what we took off the field we harvested. We brought the wheat hay over here and just put it in, and it shows up on the ground. Uh, you've got the water right here, which fills the trough up, and uh, they're, they're all already full, so we're good to go there. They've got their water. And then as far as the food goes, uh, well, every horse farmer has got to have a pickup, and yes, we, uh, we overloaded ours. You like that? Uh, I wanted to just throw it on there in a hurry, but hey, this goes to show you how well the straps work. This truck, actually, I flipped it on the way here and had no problems at all with the uh, load staying on there. And I might add, too, that in Farming 19, it seems like you can't really, or you don't have to reset vehicles much. When you tip them over, especially on their side, you can wiggle them back and forth and get them to flip back over, kind of like uh, GTA, if you ever played that. So as far as the food goes, again, the, the bales, I think the bale is going to disappear. Yep, the bale disappears right there. That will not disappear. The horse food, that's the oats, which again, if you don't have oats, you'll just go and, well, you'll buy some. And the pallet there in the store. And you can probably hold that over the food trough here. Or if you use a handy little gadget called a John Deere Gator, you can hit the R button fill it up, tip it, and you can kind of spam that kind of at the same time and just get that done at the same time, filling it up while we're dumping and just empty it out that way. And there's, there's other methods obviously to get rid of stuff, but that just gives you an idea of how you will feed the horses dumping simply oats, hay, and you'll be giving them uh, the straw and the water. So once you do that, then your horses will have everything that they need. They'll be happy, they'll have their things, and hopefully they'll get a little bit faster. Uh, every day, the last thing I guess to say is they'll need their exercise. And this is showing you that Jasmine and Yashiko Yesh 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 and Inky all have been exercised 100%. Now, I'm just assuming here it takes roughly about, hop on this horse, I think about 10 minutes, it seems, of riding. So if you have eight horses, roughly 80 minutes a day to get them where they need to be. And here we go, 3%. You can kind of see that bar going up there. So, again, I haven't timed it. It might be five minutes. But either way, you're going to have to spend five to ten minutes per day with each horse if you want to get the uh, their, their, their speed up and get them worth more money. And when they're dirty, they tend to be worth less money. And it seems like Jasmine was down. And now Jasmine is up. So they're fluctuating a little bit. I think really your best friend is going to be two things. Number one, time. And number two, it's going to be also uh, how much you come in and exercise them. For us, we run the servers 24-7. It's going to be really interesting because if we have a whole lot of horses, which we're probably going to have... We're going to have to have our subscribers, our Twitch subs, and our Patreons come on every day to exercise the horses. So that's going to be really interesting in Farming 19, and I can't wait to see how that works out. Uh, I'm sure right away we'll have no problem later on we get busy with other games. Who knows? Our horses might be getting neglected, but as of right now, this is not Seasons Mod, so I don't think any of your animals are going to die if you don't feed them. I'm just guessing maybe with the horses, the value will go down. 
and that might be a great incentive to get in and take care of your horses. Well folks, with that being said, we're going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come and watch it. Again, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and check on those notifications so you know exactly when we get another video up. Also give us a like if you don't mind and make sure to check out our Twitch channel where we're live streaming Farm Simulator all week long. And last but not least, our Discord. That is a great place to come and get to know us, hang out with us, and become part of the Gun and Gamers community. Thank you all for your time today, and until next time, take care.